Hello, my name is Lindsay, Lindsay Reed from Glows Coaching, and welcome to another of Lindsay's light bulb moments. I had a friend coming over today uh, for lunch, and so I was just kind of clearing up and clearing the porch and was just tidying up the doormat. And just by cleaning this, it made me think, hmm, sometimes people really are doormats and they allow other people to wipe their feet on them. Hmm, it's not very pleasant. And quite often it's because they find it really difficult to say no. I know I've suffered from that in the past and it's so time consuming. Um, oh, when I think about um, when I was saying yes all the time, I was really busy. Um, I wasn't really focusing on what I wanted to do. I wasn't achieving my own goals. I was tired. I didn't have energy. I was stressed. And then I would also berate myself and be quite self-critical. So there's real downsides for saying um, yes all the time. So what's the reason that people say yes all the time? Well, often it's because people like helping people, which is fantastic. But it's just when it goes a bit too far and it becomes a bit of a habit saying yes all the time. It can also be that people fear a conflict or they fear upsetting other people and they can't handle different emotions. It can also be that they uh, think it's polite to say yes and they respect authority and they don't want to appear rude. Or it could even be that they don't, they don't like missing opportunities and what if they don't go to something? They might miss something. But it does have its downsides as I shared with you earlier on. So what can you do about learning to say no, but in a nice way, in an assertive way? It's all about, first of all, respecting yourself and respecting other people. So first of all, it could be that you just give yourself a little bit of space if somebody asks you to do something that you don't want to do and say, I just want to think about that. I'm not too sure I've got enough time. I'll get back to you. So then you're, you're diffusing the situation thinking about how to, how to handle it and then go back to them when you've, you've really thought about the answer. Sometimes it could be that you can't do it and you share with them the reason why you can't do it and you may even come up with um, some solutions for them, perhaps somebody else to ask. You may not even be the best person to do whatever they want to do. So it's about being very clear on the reason why you can't do something and sometimes it's absolutely fine to say no sorry I can't do this actually saying sorry is such a British thing um, so sometimes you don't even need to say sorry so there's a few little tips so that you're not one of these and um, I hope you enjoyed uh, just learning a bit more about saying no so that's Lindsay, Lindsay Reed from Glows Coaching, empowering you to shine.